DJ Pro has one of the most advanced auto mix features out of any DJ software. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use auto mix for DJ Pro for the MacBook. So there's a couple of ways to access your auto mix. Number one is going to be here. This is how you select your view modes. So you can go from here, select auto mix in the middle. Now we're in auto mix, or let me just put that back. You could go to view up here. And then it's going to do the same thing, bring you into auto mix over here. So you see the screen is a little bit different. This is our regular library. And then this is our auto mix library. So to turn on auto mix, you have to have a playlist selected. And then you could press play over here. But to turn on auto mix, you have to press this button. So you see how when you press that, it auto mix is selected. So it will do start doing the auto mixes if that's selected. If you just have this play button selected, when the song that is playing runs out, it is not going to do the auto mix. So just make sure you have this on and then you press play over here. And now it is auto mixing this playlist. When it does the transition, you'll see it slide over like that. If you want to change, if you want to do the transition now, let's say you play it, the audience isn't liking the song or you don't want to play that song anymore. You could press mix now and then it will do the transition for you as soon as you press mix now. If not, it is going to choose using the artificial intelligence where to do the mix in and where to do the mix out. out. And that is represented by these little lines down here. So that's where it's going to mix in over. And that's where it is going to mix out. It is different for almost every song. And it gets it pretty, pretty good most of the time. Sometimes it gets it wrong. But for the most part, it chooses a great place to mix in and mix out just like a real professional DJ. But if you want to do it yourself, let's say there's a place where you always mix on a certain song or you, like a wordplay transition or something like that. You go, you select where you want it. Let's say we wanted it here. And then you could press this start over here to the right start. And then every time you have the app on auto mix and this song comes up, it is going to start where you set it. And then let's say we wanted it to mix out over here. We press end there. And then that is where this song is going to mix out every time. So if you only play half of that song, you can have it do the mix at half. So it it does it good with the with the AI technology, but it is also fun, and I recommend every song that you play to mark the start and ends on the auto mix section, so that if you happen to be doing auto mix, it does the transition that you want it to do at the right spot. You can press the pencil here to delete those, and then over here where the mix now button is, right next to it, it's a little bit hard to see, but this is going to be our transitions so if you press this drop down menu now here we get another list of more drop down menus and transition is on fade there's filter eq echo riser dissolve or nero mix or you could do automatic if you have it on automatic it is going to automatically choose what the technology thinks is going to be the best transition for the two songs that you were playing which is really cool because it's almost a different one every time so it really makes it feel like there's a real live dj that is you know switching it up so i would recommend keeping it on automatic duration manual or automatic that will be the amount of time for the mix so you could set it manually and you want the mix to be done over two bars or you could do automatic and then the app chooses how long the mix in and mix out should be like these lines under here that i showed you so again, it, the technology is amazing. So I would leave it on automatic because it does a really good job. And that's the difference between like this app or using like a Spotify auto mix that, where it just kind of crossfades the two songs over a certain amount of time. This one actually uses the AI technology to do the mix for you. And then you could change sync tempo blend or you could have sync off. I recommend keeping it on the tempo blend because it, it makes the transitions better and the transitions from the bpm higher to lower sounds really smooth so now back to over here if you guys want you could still have 
two deck mode on while you have auto mix on you could switch you don't have to stay in this auto mix screen the whole time you could switch back and then you still get this kind of pop up over here for our auto mix if you want it so you still get all your features but just this corner is cut out now over here we have the ability to stop the auto mix so you can stop the auto mix you can start the auto mix and then over here settings button we can get into our auto mix settings so it's some of the stuff that i showed you but some stuff's new so the transitions the duration and the tempo adjust you guys saw that already and then over here song range automatic or manual and then here if you have this selected you could use the feature where you could choose the start and end points that you want and then you could also do max you could also control the maximum song play duration so let's say you only want each song to play for let's say you only wanted two minutes of each song to play you could select here and then now it will never play more than two minutes of a certain song that's how that depends on your style of djing and how you want the auto mix to go if you want it to do quick mixes or if you want to get to listen to and enjoy the whole song it's up to you so you get really good control and this settings menu is really easy to use and really straightforward down here we can choose our source so we could do current playlist. So that means whichever playlist you have selected. So right now it's Essentials, Electronic Essentials. If I go over here to the hip hop one and we play a song, it is going to show that playlist over there. We could change it to matching songs. So it's going to use the match feature. What match does is it recommends similar songs based on genre, BPM, and other factors. And it does a really good job of finding similar songs. So if you didn't make a playlist or you're bored of your playlist or you just want to hear something new, you could select that and it'll be matching songs. Or you could do manual and then you could just manually start dropping songs. Let's say you want to maybe take a five or ten minute break or something like that. You could pick certain songs and then it could go like that. You get really good control and it's really cool that it lets you do that. Over here you could do shuffle or repeat these little buttons over here if you want to get rid of this auto mix screen this button here and then anytime you want to start an auto mix you could press this over here to stop an auto mix and then if you have an auto mix on there is a hidden feature that pops up over here look at the top left you get this extra button over here so now if you get rid of this part of auto mix we have all our feature in two deck mode and you get to see what's going on. Get rid of it. And then now anytime you want, you could just boom, press the button and now auto mix is off or you could access it over here. Makes it really, really easy to switch from doing auto mix to manually DJing. So it makes it really seamless. And I really like all of the features that they added for auto mix. It's really helpful. And if you want to learn, if you want to see my full beginner tutorial for this amazing app for the Mac, check out this video over here.